Today I'll be showing y'all how I make these ruffle anklets and Bailey is eating by the way, so that's what y'all hear. Let's start with the tools needed. I have some ribbon, some six inch tool, some thread, some elastic with two safety pins. And I have a lighter and I have a yardstick. Now it's time to prep the tool. So for this one, for this pair, it's gonna be four and a half yards because it's a bigger girl. So I use four and a half yards for big girls or for older girls. Um, so this is a yardstick, remember? So if I lay it down, that's already one yard. Now I flip the tool over, that's two yards. When I flip it over again, that'll be three yards. And I flip it over again, that's four yards. And then I meet it in the middle and that'll be four and a half yards. And I cut it right there. Then I'll just place it to the side after I'm done cutting it. Then I do the other side. So all together for this pair, it'll be nine yards for big girls. To stop your ribbon from fraying, you'll need to cut it however you want to cut it. And then you'll want to burn the end so that it can melt and it just won't fray at all. And I always like to overdo it. Like I'd rather for it to be burnt than for the ribbon to be fraying and looking ugly. So that's, it's just, it just looks better in my opinion. Right here, I'm doing the same thing that I do with the tool. And I'm making this four and a half yards for the pair. Now it's time to sew. So you get your tool and you fold it. And then you're going to place your ribbon on the non-folded side. It should not be on the folded side. You're going to place it under and then you're going to sew at the edge. You'll see in the next clip. And I had to change the ribbon. Okay, so if it was like this type of ribbon, you would place the pretty side face down. And then you will place the tool on top. And the folded side is on the left side and the non-folded side is on the right. And so right here I was seeing if it was for a smaller kid, the folded side, I would bring it down some so it can be like tighter or smaller loops but since it's for a big kid I would bring the folded side up so it can be like bigger loops or whatever you're gonna call them Then you're just gonna sew. You're gonna sew on the left edge and you might have to move the tool around and like just play with it basically. And that's fine. Tool is difficult to work with. Well, once you actually work with it a lot, it's not as difficult, but it's, I don't know. Then I didn't have my glasses on, so it was a bit difficult. But yeah, you just sew and that's it. This is the back, and when I turn around, that's the front. 
and it should look something like this or even better. Now I'm just gonna sew the channel or the tunnel, whatever you wanna call it. It's just another straight line so that the elastic can go through that. Well, I'm just measuring the size right here and then I'll sew a bit bigger than the elastic width. And I just sew a straight line from one end to the other. Make sure you back stitch. And then you keep on sewing. These were my sewing machine settings. And this is the elastic that I had got the next day because when I first started recording this video, I couldn't find the elastic. Please do not talk about me. So for big kids, I just measure around my ankle. I don't stretch it at all or anything. I just wrap it around regular. Do not stretch it. Do not stretch it. Wrap it around regular because I feel like I have average ankles. I don't know. And then cut it and that's it. Once I sew it together, it'll be a little smaller and that's totally fine because it's for a little kid. Well, it's for a big kid. And I like to burn the ends of the elastic as well. Again, I'd rather for it to be burnt than for the elastic to fray because that has happened before. And I don't appreciate that, I don't like that. So I burn them now. Right here, I'm just taking the piece that I wrapped around my ankle and then I'm using that to just cut the same length out from the roll of elastic. Now you need your safety pins and you're gonna place one safety pin parallel to the elastic. And then the other safety pin, you'll place it in and you place it perpendicular to the elastic. I'm going to place the straight safety pin in and I'm just going to feed it through, feed it through, feed it through. And then the perpendicular safety pin, it will keep its place so that the elastic won't slip through or slip in the channel. Then I tie it so I can do the other side. I tie it just to hold it in place, but I'm going to untie it eventually. Um, I tie it, then I set it to the side, and then I do the other one. Once I'm done with both of them, then I untie it, and then I sew the elastic together. and I just sewed them together like this. And then I make sure it's on zigzag stitch when I'm sewing this, because when someone puts this on, I would want for it to stretch out and not just stay still. So if I kept it on the straight stitch, it would the threads would probably pop and that wouldn't be good. So make sure it's on zigzag stitch. And when sewing this, I just sew, 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 go back stitch, sew, back stitch, sew, back stitch, sew. I just do it a lot of times. Literally, I don't even count. I just do it a lot till I feel like it's really good. 
and that's how it looks afterwards and I'll make sure I cut all the threads out. Now it's time to close the anklets up. Um, you can hot glue these together if you want, but I just like to sew it because I feel like that's more secure. Um, I just place them on top of each other and I sew. I don't sew to the tool, I just do the ribbon, that's it, because I feel like it's pointless to sew to the tool when it's already gonna be like scrunched up together. Then you're just gonna fluff it however you wanna fluff it. And this is it. And I made some bows as well. Uh, make sure y'all like this. If y'all really like it, comment, ask whatever y'all wanna ask. Tell your mama, your daddy, your cousin, sister, brother, whoever to subscribe. And this is how it looks on someone's ankles. So yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.